Anyways, let's ride that wave together and let's hear from Emmanuel Obi on how we're all born to fly, man. Can you give him a welcome? Thank you. As she said, I was born to fly, you were born to fly, we were born to fly. And as you can tell, the speakers before me were certainly born to fly. What does that mean? That means that there is something within us, a purpose, something that we were destined to do to accomplish, something that we were placed on this earth for. But what often gets in the way of that, right? It's our outrage, outrage, that feeling, that emotion, that deep sense of feeling that lies within us. What is it for you? What is it source? What does it cause, right? But we have to realize that often what seems to be so horrible could be a trigger, right? Why do we experience this outrage? But what do we do with it is the question. And so I want to talk to you a little bit about, about outrage to outcomes. How do we harness this energy that is within us, the things that really incense us to produce those outcomes that we really want? I'm going to give you a map. Meditate, activate, and finally participate. The first part, meditate, what does that mean? Does it mean the old-fashioned hands held and singing chants? Yeah, that's part of it. But what it really means is a deep, powerful introspection, digging deep within your being. What is it that you were called to do? Is it what you do in your nine to five? Or is there something that you really, really want to pursue? What is your faith calling you to do? What has God spoken to your heart that he's placed you on this earth to do? Meditate, it, it requires us to unlock that power that we often put aside and say, oh, no, I'm late for work. I can't think of that right now. Right? What is your calling? Are you born to create? Are you born to teach? Are you born to impact? Are you born to make a difference? You feel like you're just going through the motions? But after act, meditating, you then have to activate, right? You gotta, we got to turn something on. you got to pursue it, right? What does that mean? First part of that is the resolve. Are you really committed to doing it? Are you truly on the path to doing it, right? And so for me, my outrage, you know, as a young professional attorney, big firm, doing the things that society says that you're supposed to do, but I had this nagging. There was something within me that kept calling to me and saying, no, maybe mergers and acquisitions was not the best purpose, the best use of your degree. Maybe you are to fight on the streets to bring justice to those who are deserving of justice, right? But you have to open your heart. You have to be willing to try new things. You have to be willing to step outside of that box that we often put ourselves in. And the final piece of it is you have to participate, right? We've seen the images all across our scenes, our TVs. We've seen and heard the stories and the accounts, the senseless injustice that exists. Are we going to participate in remedying it? Are we going to actually take a step? It takes more than just clicking that like button, right? And so for me, that realization meant I had to leave corporate America. I left my job from in the big firm. I took the, the step that everybody was like, oh my goodness, what are you doing? It's craziness, but there were people in the streets that needed me. The stories that I used to watch comfortably on the 61st floor as I sit my latte and would look at my law degree so beautifully framed, what is it for? What does it mean, right? We have to participate. It is incumbent upon us to do what it is that we can do, whatever little it is, to advance. Because at the end, it's about love. That's what we're called to do. And outrage sometimes is a very powerful emotion. It gets in the way of that love. It gets in the way of the brotherly sense. And so I ask you now, what is your outcome? What is your outcome? Right? In the end, remember the three points, the three pieces, the map, right? Meditate, 
participate, activate, but we have to remember that we're in this together. We're a community. We're one. Right? And so all we have to do is try. Because with God's grace and wings, God's grace and mercy as our wings, we were certainly born to fly. Thank you so much. Wow.